Since I first went into bat 11 years ago, the score at your end has ticked over nicely. You are the 663rd Lord Mayor. At the Prime Minister's end, we are stuck on 49. <laughs> I am still at the crease, though the bowling has been pretty hostile of late. And in case anyone doubted it, can I assure you, there will be no ducking the bouncers, no stonewalling, no playing for time. The bowling's going to get hit all round the ground. That's my style. <laughs> Secretary Sir Geoffrey Howe. The Prime Minister is travelling to the Commons as we speak. Sir Geoffrey served as her Foreign Secretary for six years. His resignation follows growing tension in the Cabinet over the divisive issue of Europe. Order! Order! I remind the House that a resignation statement is heard in silence and without interruption. Sir Geoffrey Hart. Mr. Speaker. Sir. A quarter of a century has passed since I last spoke from one of the back benches. Since then, the Prime Minister and I have enjoyed something like 700 meetings of Cabinet and Shadow Cabinet during the past 18 years. It was a pleasure to serve with my right honourable friends, Chancellor of the Exchequer, to share in the transformation of our industrial relations and to help launch our free market programme. It was a great honour to serve for six years as Foreign and Commonwealth Secretary. And therefore, the House might well feel that something more than simple matters of style would be necessary to rupture such a well-tried relationship. It was the late Lord Stockton, formerly Harold Macmillan, who first put the central point clearly. He saw it as essential then, as it is today, not to cut ourselves off from the realities of power. Not to retreat into a ghetto of sentimentality about our past and so diminish our own control of our own destiny in the future. The tragedy is, and it is for me personally, for my party, for our whole people, and for my right honorable friend herself, a very real tragedy, that the Prime Minister's perceived attitude towards Europe is running serious risks the future of our nation. I hope there is no monopoly on cricketing metaphors. It is rather like sending your opening batsmen to the crease, only for them to find, the moment the first balls are bowled, that their bats have been broken before the game by the team captain. <laughs> Conflict of loyalty, of loyalty to my right honourable friend, the Prime Minister, and of loyalty to what I perceive to be the true interests of the nation, has become all too great. I no longer believe it possible to resolve that conflict from within this government. That is why I have resigned. In doing so, I have done what I believe to be right for my party and for my country. The time has come for others to consider their own response to the tragic conflict of loyalties with which I have myself wrestled 
for perhaps too long.